Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Now, you might notice something wrong with our saves here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to recover that one. Um, apparently, I had some sort of me uh, error uh, on loading Dolphin last time, and it said something about incorrectly mounted memory cards. Uh, and as you do when you load things up, Foolishly, I just clicked through everything, and apparently I overwrit a memory card save or something, and <clears throat> we lost all of our saves, which was fun. So I kind of had a little panic, but luckily we had some save states that weren't too far away, so we managed to recover from those. Um, I don't know what it is about Dolphin. But I have all kinds of errors with Dolphin. Uh, oh, man. But anyway, crisis averted. <sighs> crisis averted. So, let's load. And now, every time I load this game up, it asks, it tells me that my memory card settings are incorrect. Um, okay. That was not a thing before, but sure. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, anyway, enough panicking about that. Let's start actually playing this game. You know, I sat down with about five hours to record today, and I've spent, ooh, I don't know, about two hours now dealing with emulator issues. So, yeah, that's fun. That's really fun. I was hoping to finish uh, Deep Fear. Um, but I don't think I'm going to play that this week now because i got to go back to work tomorrow. Uh, okay, so let's go and buy some stuff, shall we? Now, when we last left off, we had killed Blue Helm. At least I hope we've killed Blue Helm. <laughs> I think this is the correct save. Yeah, it should be. Um, so now we've got to run around and do a load of side stuff. We should now be able to get the last members of the crew. And that is what I intend to do in this video. So let's go to the shop anyway, because we did expend quite a lot of materials uh, on those last few fights. Uh, well, well, my, my, what can I do for you? Uh, let's buy some stuff, please. Uh, so... Restores all HP for one ally. That's really nice. Right, let's refresh those. That's nice and cheap. Uh, yeah, 10 MP of one ally. These are really nice, but they're really expensive. We're probably fine with those. Uh, they're not great. They're pretty good, but we've got 24 of those. We'll get another one, so we've got 25. Uh, they're really not great. I kind of tempted to sell those actually uh let's in fact let's just do just that because we're never going to use them hmm pretty sure we have everything we need for those uh right so let's have a look where was it i know we have 24 of them somewhere yeah rizlam Oh. Interesting. We've still got all these boxes and things, but I just can't imagine us ever really using them. Where are you? Kite rays. We don't want to sell kite rays. I know I keep going past it. But we kind of need every scrap of money we can get our hands on right now. Uh, Rizlam. That's not it. Maybe she doesn't buy them. Or I'm just not seeing it. Which is possible. Flying fish, chums. Really? Yeah, it's possible that I'm just not seeing it. Alright, well, fuck that then. Right, let's go. We also need to go to the ship shop because we used a hell of a lot of materials in the last two fights mainly gear grease and deluxe kits 
And we want to make sure that we're ready for just about anything that's going to be around the corner. And hopefully it's going to be pretty smooth sailing for now. We also have those two captain stripes, which we got from doing the last couple of battles, which I guess we could use those as well. It's an extra 4,000 HP to our ship. Which seems like a fairly good idea. I think it's 4,000 HP anyway. I think it's like an item that we have to use, isn't it? Items. Magic droplets. It's actually ship items, I think. Captain Stripes. There we go. Yeah. 50,000 HP on our ship now. Not bad. What was the little jack? 10,000 tops? Oof. Five times more hit points. Happy with that. So, we need to find Ryukan. Now, hopefully, shouldn't be too hard to find. We've actually got quite a few uh, members that we can now get. I think there's about six people. But, that's fine. So we've... Ooh. Yeah, it's the 5-inch cannon. Blue Helm figure, which we really don't need. So, we want some... Oh, we've got 52 Dulux kits. But we do go through them at a rate of knots, man. Right, we'll get 20 more of those. Get another... There we go. Brings up 75 Deluxe kits. Very nice. Rudder grease. See that? Slows down the rate of spirit consumption. Maybe we need to experiment with that. Not really sure exactly how that works. How many of those? We've got 29. So... Let's get... Yeah. 50. Cool. 50 gear grease should be enough. Alright. Let's go. Now, our ship has been upgraded, which is rather lovely. <clears throat> which means we can really start hunting down um, discoveries. You better believe we've got a lot of discoveries to find. A lot of discoveries. But all in good time. It's great that we got the blue crystal and all, but where do we go from here? Perhaps we should return to Crescent Isle and study the book on ship polarity in order to modify... Ah, right, okay, so we can't... Alright, 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 getting ahead of ourselves there. Okay. Go home? But that's to the west of here. How are we supposed to get back? Let's try heading east. Maybe we can try to go to the east from here. Wait a second. We'll just be getting further away from Crescent Isle. Um, didn't Belzea say she came here by going west from Ixitaka? If that's true, then if we go east from here, we should be able to reach Ixitaka. What? So you mean the east and the west from the world are connected? Hmm, I do seem to recall hearing legends about the world being round. According to the geological studies of Valua, the world is a sphere, which means the east is connected to the west and the north is connected to the south. Of course, no one's ever proven this, and those that believe this to be true are branded as heretics. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, it looks like we're going to see if Belzir was telling the truth or not. We came to Yafutoma from Crescent Island by heading east. We'll continue sailing to the east. And if we reach Crescent Isle, we'll prove that the world is round. Oh, wow, you mean we're actually going to try and sail around the world? All right, everybody, prepare for departure. We're going east. Destination, Crescent Isle. Excellent. Uh, but before that... Right, if we check out our map... Oh, it's so weird actually playing with a GameCube controller. It's really cool, actually. So... We want to head to Tenkau Island. Uh, nope. Tenkau Island. So we haven't exactly been upgraded just yet, which is unfortunate. <laughs> but to the north we go. Let's ride. 
Ooh, fish. Grab the fish. Ooh, A. Hey. Nice. I'm very happy. Yeah, just some standard chaff to destroy. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Start uh, rebuilding our money supplies. Now, might not be the most exciting video, going around collecting everybody, but it needs to be done. And we can explore the world a little bit along the way. There's another discovery up there that we can't get yet. And... Oh, right, hang on. We might have hit a fuck factor here. Because it's high above the clouds. We might actually have to go get our ship modified before we can do this. Which is fine. It's a small bump in the road, but it's not uh, that bad. Yeah, because we need to go up there to get our friend. Alright, well, to the east I guess it is. Hmm. Okay. Let's go get our ship modified and come back, shall we? Let's get this bass moving. Let's head east. And where are we? <gasps> it's true! It was true all along. Ooh, these look rough. Let's go for a Mega Cyclone. See if that does much. Oh. Great. Yeah. Yeah, further errors will be sent to the video backend log and Dolphin will now likely crash or hang. Enjoy. Fuck you, Dolphin. Yeah, I might consider transferring my save at some point back to the Wii. The emulated GPU got desynced. Disabling dual core can help. It's, dual core shouldn't actually be equipped. Uh... Right, okay guys, one sec. Apparently, we're still going. So, we haven't crashed yet. In which case, it might be worth saving it after this battle. Luckily, we are on the uh, open world and we can save wherever we want. See, as much as I love emulation, there's always going to be a reason to pick real hardware. You know, the advantages to emulation, although many, are not what I would call definitive. Right, that was a lot of gold. Hopefully it's not going to crash. It's not, so we're going to save. We're going to save it there. Okay, so we're on the frontier lands. That was oof, sketchy. Okay, well, whatever, whatever. Right, let's head down to Crescent Island. Yeah, pretty sure dual core isn't actually equipped. Dual cores, huh? Remember those? Well, I mean, technically Apple probably still uses them. Hmm. Oh, S. We've got S fish. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's everybody attack. I guess it's possible that um, some of my settings got changed when the uh, emulator updated, but it shouldn't change settings, surely. But who knows? Who knows? I've always found Dolphin to be a little bit janky. I mean, you know, it's mostly there. It's just 
slightly problematic from time to time. Okay, let's go. Maybe we should just, you know, start save stating it more, I guess. Right. Now, where is Crescent Island? Where was Cre Ah, there's Crescent Island. Okay. Kind of seems like we've gone the long way around, considering, but okay. Does that mean we can, oh god, Does that mean we can go through here? I mean, these things are giving us an awful lot of gold, so there's that. A little bit apprehensive to, uh start skipping ahead and whatnot because I don't know whether the emulator is going to crash so yay for that okay maybe not quite as much gold as I'd hoped there right, let's keep sallying forth we go through this now pretty sure we can't we are getting attacked every 30 seconds which I guess is fine game all that XP and money is I guess gonna come in handy so we're not getting huge amounts of XP I also want to get someone using red no we can't actually go ugh, through this so there must be a specific little hole somewhere that they've blown right let's kill these guys so these frontier lands are pretty dangerous yeah I want to get someone using red again just because we've it's only vase that's maxed out on red uh right so frontier land i mean it's possible we can just chip through there maybe go south i guess we can speed things up a little bit although if we're going to speed things up, it might be worth saving it. Although I'm pretty sure... Aha! Hello! I see you hiding in there, glooper. Alright, not bad. Not great. Well, that's not going to work a second time, is it? Fool! Nice. Nice amount of gold. Good. We like gold in these parts. Um. Okay. So yeah, just keep heading down, I guess. Save. Um. Save there. Excellent. Keep going. Keep going south. Ooh. Oh, I thought I saw something there. Thought it was a discovery. Maybe not. Okay, what have we got here? That was Fury. Nice. This is what we like. XP and gold. Two of our favorite things. Yes, the only things that really matter in this game. Oh, yes. Build that gold pile back up. What are we up to now? Okay, not quite as much as I was hoping. But, alright. Ah, hello. Looks like we found something. This might actually be a discovery. Which would be rather nice. Uh, 
How's that gonna go down? Yes! Kill them all. Yeah. Right, what have we got here exactly? Nothing underneath. So this is Ixitaka. Apparently. But still, not really where we need to be. And that's the Dark Rift. Right, so we've gone definitely in the wrong area. Of course we have. We are way off course. Pretty sure he said just head east. You'll get to Crescent Isle. I think he was lying. But maybe I just suck at navigating. Hey, level 40. Excellent. About time. Alright, let's see. Ugh. I shouldn't complain about all these random battles. Hopefully it's going to make the bounties easier. Because uh, they're pretty tough from what I can remember. They're going to be very difficult. It'd be nice to get everybody to level 40. Before we go in for those. But Ah, right. Hang on. We're somehow... Oh, right. We're back down here. Unless that's the hole there. But that doesn't explain how we get to... What are we missing here? Right, let's give it a save. And what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to pause it. And I will come back when I found where the devil was supposed to be going. Right, I'm back guys. Okay, so I found the hole that they blew into this place. Kind of difficult to see, but there it is. Right there. However, um, although I've had the game sped up, which has been fun, uh, apparently we've been grinding for over an hour since our last save, uh, even though it's only been 10 minutes. Uh, about 10, 15 minutes anyway, which is quite cool. It's a really good way of grinding. I guess. So, onwards. So here we go. Now, according to my notes, whilst we're here in Ixitaka land, we could be... Get my notes back up. Um... Ortega. Where was that? That was down here. We should be able to go kill for somebody. Which seems like a reasonably good idea. Um, now, he was aboard the ship, if memory serves. Which would actually be pretty nice. Yep, just down here. Cool. And then I guess we need to start making... Ah, look, there's that fish up there that we can't get to. It's unfortunate. Now, where's... Ortica. Should be here somewhere, right? Should be. Gone past it, apparently. Right, well, you see that destroyed ship there. That's kind of cool. Right. That's the ship that we need to go to, to be fair. Okay, now, does this tired old head of mine remember where the ship was? I think it's this way. Or at least we get to enjoy this music again. Yeah, this is the way. I know the way. I should bloody hope I know the way. Right, we're looking for a guy called Hans. That's just boy. And uh, nope. Pretty sure Hans. Was that Hans? That's not Hans. No. Valentine's wife. Oh, Mr. Vase. Hans is eager to see you. Please talk to him right away. Alright, Hans. Look, he, okay. 
Willing to join my crew, are you? Oh, Mr. Vase, hello. You're a captain now, aren't you, Mr. Vase? Congratulations. Right now, I'm working as a factory technician. But when my stint here is over, uh, that is, I wonder if you'd be willing to take me on as part of your crew. I'd like to be your ship's engineer. Well, you couldn't get this rust tub up and going again, could you? So, you know, I'm dubious on your skills. Ah, go on, buddy. Of course, Hans. It'd be great to have you aboard. Really, Mr. Vase? I can be your engineer? Thank you very much. I'm so excited to be working with you. Yep, welcome aboard, dude. When my stint as a factory technician is over, I'm going to join up with Mr. Vase. Yeah, well, stop calling me Mr. Vase, please. Okay, so that's him done. So who's next on our little hit list? We have this hand-picked list. Um, so now... Okay, now it looks like we're just... Heading our asses back to Crescent Isle. But before we go back, there's one more pit stop we can potentially make. Um, right. So picking up all this crew is actually not taking as long as I thought it would. We'll get a video out of it. Maybe just. Uh, do we need to buy anything here? I don't think so. Alright, let's get back to the ship. So, next on the portal call is... Is it... Yes. Maramba, we need to go to next. And I think we can now cut through these if memory serves. God damn it. Always gotta get in the way. Can't let us just have this, can you? Gotta be interrupting everything. Still, let's see if these things are still worth fighting. I'm gonna say probably not. Well, I mean, kind of, I guess. Kind of. Excellent. And cut straight through. That's what we like to see. Keep going. Now, I do have a load of um, discoveries prepared that we also need to start collecting. Um. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Push this old ship. Uh, it's not exactly old, but push the old bird as hard as she can be pushed. Right, where are we now? So we need to turn slightly to the east. Excellent. Ah, familiar. Familiar area. One last sky rift to go through. And it's all gravy, baby. Lovely. Should be back in the sandy desert wastes. Ooh. Grab the fish. Oh, you know, like two of them. I suppose two's better than none. Now. And let us land a Maramba. Oh! Uh. I don't think we have any um, discovery information to drop off, actually. I don't think we do. Let's have a look. I think the Vase the Hero would ever come to this guild. It's a true honor, sir! Yes, yes. Um, ooh, we can actually buy a lot of info here. Hmm. Can we sell anything? We can. Very nice. One way of making a load of money, I suppose. Very nice. I guess we didn't... Um... Cash any of this stuff in. 
Glad I checked. That's a nice amount of scratch, which is good. Because we're going to need um, a lot of scratch now. Yeah, that kind of put a bit of a damper on everything. Um, what's this one? It lives on some island in Yafatoma. The locals... Ah, right, yeah. Um, that's... Is, did we miss the bird's nest? Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, have you got anything to sell me, actually? Now, uh... Pyro bombs. Yeah, you got... Mm, improves attack and defense power for two turns. Apple wax. I mean... I guess it's a free way of casting uh, that buff on us without using magic, I guess. Sure. Oh, actually, should we go see if that weird little merchant guy's got anything good? I never really see the value of buying anything off this guy, but I guess we'll have a look whilst we're here. Thermo ring? No. Mm. I've already got one of those. Nope. Not worth. I mean, it's nice to have a way of casting free magic, but yeah. Don't seem to rely on magic too much in this game. For better or worse, I suppose. Now, we need to go get one of them uh, beasts. A dabu. And go riding. Um, can I have a, a dabu, please? There he is. Oh, there is an item shop here somewhere. Uh, can't remember what items that particular item shop sold. Think silly brain. Silly brain. Is that the item shop? That's a weapon shop. Sure. Ah, wait. Nah, that's the item shop. Okay, the banner doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Oh yeah, it's the chicken head guy. This is such an honor. I get to talk to a true hero. I cannot believe it's really you. I'm so nervous. Ah, uh, that's okay. You can bask in the greatness. Right. Do we want to buy out all of these? I mean, I guess we could. It's literally just two grand. Which is like nothing. For our, you know, for our rich blood, I guess. Uh, Glyphs of Might. Ugh. I, mean, I guess we might as well max out on those, I suppose. Quicker for the entire party, that's actually quite useful. Healing salves. Yes. That'll do. Spent a little bit too much money here, but I like to have a nice good... St Oof, God. Stock of items. You, sir, are a nutcase. I'm out of here. Now, let's go get ourselves a double. Come on, dude. Make, make, make with the camel thing. Welcome, my friend. Are you planning on crossing to the other part of the city? Wow, he's got some uh, some big lips. Some big, big kissable lips there. I'm sure his wife is very happy. Alright, okay. Now, apparently this is a very dangerous crossing. It kind of looks like it's three feet away. It's a little bit strange. But we've got Mr. Flap here. So that's fine. Now, we are looking for Khalifa. Wherever she may be. She's not in the tavern, so I guess we've only got one other shop or one other place to try. Oh! Hello. Welcome. Hmm. 
you. I've seen your face in my dreams. It was a dream in which someone holding a cerulean blade beckons me into the sky. A cerulean blade? I've got one right here. Yeah, you have to have this sword um, equipped. Otherwise, she won't join you. What? Then perhaps it was you who came to me in my dreams. It appears that the red moon has decided my fate. I cannot go against the will of the moon. I am henceforth at your service. I am Khalifa, seer of the red moon. I am the most renowned fortune teller in all of Nassar. There is no future that I cannot see. Right. She is a merchant, apparently. Okay. She's also horrendously um, important. Um, we need to have her in our active crew. Because if we don't have her, we will miss out on so many items. Right, let's go. Come on, double. Let's get out of here. Ah, coffee. It's amazing stuff. Right, so. There's still other people we have to find. Okay. Let's go drop Mr. Dabble back. So. There's one person that we can't get because we haven't upgraded our ship. Ah, uh, we need to go back to Esperanza as well. And go get Don. Because obviously those guys are all waiting for us to return in glorious fashion. So let's see where we are on the map. Might be worth going to see those guys. And we don't have to go through the Dark Rift anymore. Which, you know, is a juicy bonus. Let's go back to our escape pod. You'd have thought there'd be some kind of canopy on this ship. Seems a bit sketch just to be taking to the winds. Uh, right. Dark Rift. Spranza is just down there. Yes, I thought it, I th I thought it wasn't that far away. Dead ahead. Let's go. Let's go grab Don. See what he thinks of us now. Returning. Like pure chads. Oh, god damn it. Well, you didn't think it was going to be that easy, I suppose. Ooh. A flock of birds, I guess. Shouldn't be too hard to take out. Yeah, who do I want to wield red? Can't be Vase. I might put Ica back on red, I suppose. Yeah. Although we are getting a healthy amount of blue experience by having everyone on blue. Do I want to put Ica on red? Maybe. Oof. Easier to do in battle, I suppose. Right, let's go. I think we're going the right way. Yes, kind of. At least we get to hear the music of this place again. From what I can remember, it was really nice. Hey guys, remember us? Back from the journey that uh, we were told was impossible. This should be fun. I love the music here. Oh, hey, it's you guys again. Wait a minute. Does that mean that you sailed around the world? Yeah, kind of. Pretty much. <laughs> when I look at you guys, I remember my youth and all my old hopes and dreams come back to life. Good man. Let's start cleaning this place up, getting it ship shape. Let's go talk to people. Hey, dude. Huh? What did you say? You say you sailed around the world? 
What are you trying to say? That the edges of the world are actually connected? Don't talk crazy like that. Aye, but it's true, lad. Need to put down the grog. Right, let's go get our guy. This place could be restored to its former glory. Hello, old dude. I heard that not only did you get past the Dark Rift, you sailed around the world. That's quite impressive. Yeah, slightly. Yeah. My body is getting restless. Maybe I'll take to sailing again. Well, if you ever see me out there sailing, be sure to say hi. Yeah, sure thing, dude. I guess we we'll go have a nice rest here. Hey, you're the air pirates that defeated the Armada a little while back. The Valuans are our old enemies. You have won a victory for us. Please stay the night here for free, of course. You are heroes. Well, you'll stay. I'm honoured. Please rest well. Excellent. Make with the grog. All your finest roasted coffee. Did you sleep well? Please, if the winds of fate ever blow your ship this way, do not hesitate to stay here again. Excellent. So I guess we've got a free hotel whenever we want it. Can't grumble at that. It's cool that everybody is actually, like, praising us up. Hello. Ever since you guys came back, all the men of the town have been a little inspired. They're gaining back the old fire that they lost. Good. That's what we like to hear. Maybe losing hope because you're afraid of the future is the same as living life with your eyes closed because you're afraid to see the truth. Yeah, something, something like that, love. Right, remember me? Wait, not only you got past the Dark Rift, but you also sailed around the world? Arr! Yep. Me? Nah, I'm fine here. I just want to stay here and drink loqua and live my life in ignorant bliss. Well, that sounds pathetic, but whatever floats your boat. I heard you guys made it through the Dark Rift. I knew you'd be able to do it. I have confidence in your abilities, so I have a favor to ask of you. Would you like to listen to my story first? Many years ago, I eloped and came here with a sailor that I'd fallen in love with. But he found another woman and ran off with her. I can't believe how foolish I was to trust him. But I've accepted my fate. It is not myself that I'm worried about. It's my mother. I left her behind in Maramba. If you ever have a chance to stop by Maramba, could you, please, uh, could you visit the Kabul skewer shop? I want her to forgive her foolish daughter and I want her to know not a day has passed that I haven't thought of her no yeah there's actually like a really long quest here but we'll cover that later the phase it's you you actually made it through the dark rift yep and I saw everything that was beyond it too you really know how to rub it in, don't you? You know how much I wanted to see what was on the other side. Don, it's still not too late. Why don't you come with us? We can sail together. Yeah. Well, there isn't much I can do other than sail, and I sure haven't done that in a while either. But if it's a sailor you want, it's a sailor you'll get. Let's go, Cam. That was easy. He's a helmsman. We've got three helmsmen now. This is good. We've got a nice amount of crew to rotate. Uh, right, so we've got to go see her mother, but we'll start that later. Yes, 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 yes. We shall do that. It's actually taken longer than I thought to get all this crew. So, we're in half an hour. E gads, man. Uh. Can we actually do that long-winded quest? We actually need a certain item. Uh, and funny enough, the game's librarian has told me about it. It's in my notes. 
Right, well, let's go back to our ship. We've got a large portion of the crew. So I think the best thing to do now will be to save the game. And then I'm going to plan what happens next. We're probably going to head back to Crescent Island, to be honest. Because there is like three or is it three people we can pick up there? It's something like that. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.